Hi, my name is Akhil Sood, reporting from now from Galveston, Texas. Today, I want to talk about herpes zoster and rheumatoid arthritis. Patients with rheumatoid arthritis are at increased risk for herpes zoster. Herpes zoster, or shingles, is caused by reactivation of the varicella zoster virus. Shingles can be extremely painful and debilitating. And this leads to the question, what is the clinical and economic impact of herpes zoster in patients with rheumatoid arthritis? As Abstract 981 by Singer and colleagues explored in this question using a large administrative claims database, they identified patients with herpes zoster and rheumatoid arthritis, as well as rheumatoid arthritis alone for comparison. And the outcomes measured were healthcare resource utilization and healthcare cost. And the results were striking. Up to one year from the time of diagnosis, patients with rheumatoid arthritis and herpes zoster had greater healthcare resource utilization. This included visits to the emergency room, visits to the clinic, and visits to the hospital. And healthcare costs were also significantly greater. What can we take away from these findings? Prevention of herpes zoster is extremely important. And as clinicians, we need to ensure our patients are up to date with immunizations. For more coverage, please go to roomnow.com. Thank you.